Oh, my beloveds, what a beautiful prayer time we've just had together. And I know for some of you, the preference would be to be here in the room with us. And I know for some of you, your preference is to be right there online, and that is how you can join us. And so what I want us all to know right now is we've just shared this incredible, prayerful togetherness that we've done so virtually, and it makes it no less powerful. And this is part of that vision that we must all begin to hold. This vision for togetherness in ways that we didn't know togetherness was going to happen. The togetherness in ways that is sometimes painful and uncomfortable, but as Alex said in his prayer request, that we have the strength and the courage to continue on. And so today we are going to talk about how it is in this incredible life of the one that often, 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 often shows up in mysterious ways, that we each have a unique, beautiful, and authentic, and perfect location in it. That is our journey today. Not only are we going to recognize our place in it, we are going to claim it. We are going to let it fill us to overflow, knowing what is ours to do. Ernest Holmes says, the old year passes into the new and heralds in the possibility of triumph, the triumph of the spirit in us. It cannot be done by the dictate of some external authority. It can only occur in our own consciousness when faith shall triumph over fear and love over hate and compassion over unkindness. Then at last, we shall sing unto glory be the God, which is the chant we sang this morning, this sing through me, sing through my life, sing the glory of oneness through my spiritual living. This is the way we create the world that we actually wanna be living in. This is the way that we live our best life. It is by allowing that spirit within to sing through us. We have to be willing. We have to be willing to do what must be done in our own beings and consciousness and awareness. That's always where it must first begin. Any, any outer change we want to see whether we want to see an outer change in our bodies, whether we want to see an outer change in our relationships, whether we want to see an outer change in our finances, in our health, in our entire global experience, whether we want to see a change in our politics, we want to see a change in our social structures and systems, we want to see a change in white supremacy and patriarchy and colonialism, we want to see a change for all the refugees on this planet right now looking for a better way. All of that change, every single bit of it, every iota, every tiny crumb begins here in our consciousness and our awareness. And so we begin. We begin with whatever that wave that happens in the new year. We allow that triumphant spirit that is looking for its way through us to rise. To rise in our own awareness. To rise in our own consciousness so that we may each be a stand for oneness in our own lives, in our own understanding of who we are as incredible, divine, divine beings. There is one thing we teach across all faith traditions. The kingdom of heaven is within. Jesus of Nazareth. God is closer than the jugular vein, the Quran. You are one within the one, the Tao Te Ching. There is no escaping this truth. But part of the work, the labor, 
of spiritual living is to take that idea, to take that concept and make it real. Make it real to yourself. Make it real in your experience. And take it out of the realm of possibility and bring it in to the realm of reality. And I know we sometimes feel pulled and caught that there's got to be something I can do out here. There's got to be someone out here who can make it better, who can make my experience of health better, who can make my finances better, who can fix the political disaster that is happening in the United States. We want to make other people responsible for the change we want to see. And my darling, you are responsible. I am responsible. And in order for us to create the, 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 the force of love that we want to see in our lives and in this planet, we must first align ourselves with that force of love. We must align our own awareness and thinking and belief and consciousness with that force of love. You know, we are deeply committed in this community. Our vision statement here at the center is one in spirit, living with purpose, transforming the world. And that's in order of how it works. We first must align ourselves with the idea that we are one in spirit. You are one in spirit. And until you are able to be the embodiment of that truth, living with purpose becomes tricky. Living as a living example and demonstration of transformation, tricky if we don't first align ourselves with the truth that we are one in spirit. And that this spirit is in us and far greater than our individuality. Both. And we have a place in it, a unique place in it, a U-shaped place in this spirit that we call the one life, the holy blessed one. So this must be the beginning. This must be the place that we continue to return to and allow ourselves to grow in our conscious awareness of this truth. Because the more we allow ourselves to be aware that we are one in spirit and that spirit is one in us, the kingdom of heaven is within. As we allow that to grow in our awareness and to truly get conscious of that truth, and to step out of doubt into faith, we then are able to embody that truth more and more. And when we become the embodiment of that truth, the conscious embodiment, we begin to then live on purpose. And guess what happens as we embody this and live it, spiritual living? Ah, transformation happens. It is a natural result of this growing awareness, this growing embodiment that you and I each participate in, do the labor of. We are transformed as we allow that truth, that undeniable truth that I am the life of the one. I am. That very wisdom and love and the greatest force and power in the universe is living itself in me. It is closer than my jugular vein. And it is looking for a way through me. I open myself to allow life, spirit, Allah, the divine, mother, father, God, to sing itself through me. 
It is entirely why I am here, why you are here. It's to be consciously embodied, spirit in motion, love in action. And when we allow that awareness and that consciousness to not only be a sweet idea, a possibility, a maybe, when it gets real, when we make it real, when we realize this more and more, we are transformed. We are transformed in our own beings because we recognize some of the, the ideas and the beliefs that we have inherited that we have taken on from our families of origin, that we have taken on from cultural norms that are full of shiznit, we realize like, wait a minute. If my body is not an okay body, according to cultural norm, then how could I be living in a body that is God provided? These cannot coexist. One is a lie and one is truth. I am living in a God-given, ordained, anointed body, which means this false belief that this body is somehow not okay must go. Bam, I am transformed. When I understand that the very life of the one, the very wisdom and mind of God is living in my mind and I have access to it, you have access to it. This divine wisdom, the, the knowingness, the absolute knowingness of the one is right here. Right there where you are. If that is true, any story you have about being stupid or confused cannot be true. Which means you get to let it go. You are transformed. This is how it works. One in spirit, living with purpose, transforming the world. And when you say yes to your own transformation, when you say yes to, I am ready to let go of the misbeliefs and the lies that have been running around in here and claim the truth of who I am, I am going to say yes to my own transformation. And when I do it, I live it. And when I do that, I am participating in the transformation of the world. I've heard some people say that our vision statement is a bit grandiose. It's a bit too big, this transforming the world thing. And I say to you, if, if it feels too big, you've got more growing to do. If you don't recognize that your place in this oneness is meaningful and impactful and that your thoughts and your beliefs and your actions and your lived experience impacts the whole. There is no other possibility because there's only one. And you are playing too small if you think that your life, your decisions don't matter. We are each one within the one, inherently linked, inherently impacting one another, all the way down to the thoughts and beliefs we hold. That's how important you are. That's how important it is that you say a holy yes to your own transformation. And that's where it all begins. Gandhi said, be the change. That is what he's talking about. Be the change means you've got to clean up your own yard. And your yard can't get cleaned up until this gets cleaned up. Until this gets cleaned up. I want to share with you from Michael Beckwith. He says, visioning is a process by which we train ourselves to be able to hear, feel, see, and catch God's plan for our life or for any particular project we're working on. 
He says, it is based on the idea that we're not here to tell God what to do or to ask God for things, but to absolutely be available for what God is already doing, to open ourselves up to catch what's already happening. This is sometimes a subtle and tricky nuance idea in new thought and science of mind. This whole idea that if, okay, if God's mind is in my mind, then I can manifest the reality I want, right? And I think we get really black and white about this whole manifesting thing, law of attraction thing. And we miss the whole part about God is all there is, spirit is all there is, the holy blessed one, the one life is all there is. And we are in it as it is in us, which means there is a motion, a divine orchestration always moving that we are participating in and co-creating in. But we've got to open ourselves up to our place in it. We've got to notice what this greater reality is doing and moving and trying to live through us. When we are in separation, when we believe we are somehow separate from the one and we create from that place, we create thinking that I have to do this for me, I've got to get mine, or I have to diminish myself so that they can, we are denying the wholeness and the oneness. And Michael Beckwith is saying, hey, 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 catch, catch the oneness that is swirling and spinning and ever available because we are in it and it is in us. Catch the vision. Grow your awareness of your place in this larger reality. And let that inform your choices and your decisions. That is why we first have to align ourselves as one in spirit. So that we are then moving from that reality, moving within that greater reality, consciously aware that we are part of this greater whole. So that that can inform our decisions. So that we can be an embodiment of that and live that, allowing for the greater transformation that is always trying to occur. God is always moving for good. And wouldn't you like to catch that vision? If you are feeling lost or stuck in something happening in your life, in your body, in your finances, in your relationships, I invite you right now to consider that there is something greater and that when you align yourself with that something greater, those things that are occurring in your experience, your individual experience right now, have an opportunity to shift. When you align yourself with the one power, the force of nature itself that is within your being, within your conscious grasp, and allow that to move you in loving action, and purposeful living. Only that which leads me to the God within myself can reveal God, said Ernest Holmes, the founder of our teaching. Only that which can lead me to the God within myself can reveal God. Only that which can lead me to the wisdom in my own mind that is also God's wisdom can reveal the answers I'm looking for. Only that which can lead me to the God within, the kingdom of heaven within, can reveal the next right step that I need to take, that you need to take. So I wanna take us through a process I want to take us through a process that can begin, I hope, to reveal to you that God within, that wisdom of the one life that is also the wisdom of your own mind, 
that intuition, that inclination that I had a feeling that is the wisdom of the divine, the kingdom of heaven within you, guiding you to purposeful living. So I'm gonna ask you to right now take a moment and you can go to our website, abqcsl.org forward slash blog, where you can download the worksheet that I've provided for you, looking a little bit like this. And it is called the Ab A Vision for Myself in 2022. Now, if you're not up for all that and downloading PDFs and doing all those things, get a notebook, get a piece of paper, get your journal, get a pen, and say yes with me right now. Let us do this labor together right now. And if you're watching later, do the work. Get the paper, get the pen, go to the website, get the worksheet, whatever you need to do so that we can each identify ourselves, find our place in this one. So in consideration of this vision we have for being one in spirit, where do you locate yourself in the vision of oneness? Allow that answer to rise, not from your knowingness, but from your knowing. The second step in our vision is to live with purpose. What is yours to do to contribute to the manifestation of the vision of a transformed world? All right, let's move into our final question, y'all. The final step in our vision here at the center is to transform the world. So the question I have for you is what's in the way? What's in the way of your connection to being a greater embodiment of spirit? What must you release so that you can allow that spirit to sing through you? Allow that truth, sometimes a bitter pill, but allow it to rise in your conscious awareness so that you can do the labor of letting it go. Let it rise. What must be released? I wanna anchor this with you in prayer. I wanna know that whatever you wrote on your page today, whatever came up in consciousness today, is already handled. The love and action that you are, the embodiment of the divine that you are, is already whole, perfect, and complete. So take this moment with me as we anchor this in prayer. Oh, Holy Blessed One, thank you. Thank you for showing us all the ways all the ways that we can be supported in community, in love, doing this labor of love together. Thank you, Holy Blessed One, for being the very life that we each live, for being right here, right now, in this moment as life itself and so much greater than we have been able to wrap our minds around. Thank you for being the one that has been the beginning of all time, who is the moment right here and right now, who is everything that ever was and everything that will ever be. Thank you, Holy Blessed One. Thank you for being so much greater than I know, so much greater than I can understand. And thank you for inviting me to this table. Thank you for inviting every blessed soul that is alive right now on this planet, every creature, every atom, every photon, every piece of mystery. Thank you. Thank you for allowing us to grow in our understanding of how we belong to you, to each other, to life to the air we breathe, to the ground we stand on, to the very plants that sustain us. 
thank you for growing our awareness that we are absolutely connected. We are each connected as a divine emanation of the one within this greater one life. And that we each have a role to play. How incredibly honored I am to be invited to play a role in your great one life in this incredible universe that is beyond my understanding. But here I am. Here I am, a critical piece, a critical expression. And here we each are, critical to the unfolding of this holy, blessed life. And I just with deep gratitude say thank you. Thank you to each and every one of us who say holy, holy, holy yes. Use me. I give myself to this greater reality. I give myself to being an expression and allowing life to sing itself through me in ways that I have even yet to imagine. I say yes. I give myself to it. Use me. Use us so that we may be one on purpose transforming the whole shebang it is so good it is always good anchor this with me in prayer by saying yes amen and so it is